Hi friend, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today we are going to prepare a video on how to use the BIP and OTBI reports on a single dashboard. Okay, so till now what we had did, we had created multiple BIP reports, multiple OTBI reports and the dashboards as well. And on the dashboard till now we just put the OTBI reports. So in this video I am just going to tell you that how to use the dashboard by using the BIP reports as well as the OTBI reports okay so for seeing that practically I'm just going to my Fusion Instance home screen so here is the home screen of my Fusion Instance I'm just go clicking on here the navigator then here I'm just going to the tools so this is my tools then here we have to click on report and analysis then here we just have to click on browse catalog so it will open the catalog page for us where we can just build all types of hand report or we can see the existing reports so in this video we are just seeing that how to use the BIP and OTBI report on a single dashboard for that first of all I need one OTBI report and one BIP report at least okay so what I can do so I already prepared one OTBI report and one BIP report okay if you are not aware that how to create that BIP and OTBI report so you can go to my channel fusion playlist and you can watch the previous video so it will tell you that how to create that BIP and OTBI report for saving the time I am just using the old reports only so I am having that report in my custom folder so first I will just show you that report which I already built okay so I'm just opening this one payable invoice report so see this is the payable invoice reports so where I'm just fetching some payable related the data like as in supplier number supplier name supplier type invoice number invoice date invoice amount and invoice amount paid okay the simple information I'm just fetching okay so this is one of the report second report I'm having the BIP report so let me just go back so this is my second report that is an order detail report and for that I had created this order detail data model so this data model is for this report so we just have to check the report so I'm just clicking on open on this report so see this report is loaded so what we are capturing here we are capturing here some few information like as an order number header ID line number order date customer ID hold status, header status, inventory item ID, ship quantity, unit selling price and line status. Okay, so this type of an information I am just capturing. So here we are having the two template. Okay, so how to use that two template that I also explained in my previous video. You can go through that. So here is my first template and here is the second template. So there is no difference in the output, just the output is unformatted. So here you can see that that are in the sorted format or formatted way here there is something scattered because this template is created automatically by the fusion ui and this we had updated the fields and we had just edited the template okay so by this way we can just sort it out okay if in real time also if you have some requirement okay so i'm having the two outputs for this report okay so this is my BIP report okay so now I'm just going back again to the catalog now come back to our requirement to create the dashboard and on that dashboard we have to place our BIP report as well as the OTBI report so I'm just going here dashboards okay so what this dashboard is showing us this will show me all the existing dashboard which we have already created okay but now we just have to create the new dashboard so for that we have to go here that is a create button and here it is on a dashboard okay so I'm just clicking on dashboard so this pop-up will come in front of us and we have to give this information like as in a what dashboard name we require so this is an order related report so I'm just writing BIP and OTBI dashboard okay same I'm just popping into the description section 
we have to choose the location where we have to save and just saving it to the custom dashboards and here is an uh, add content now and add content later so if you just have to create the dashboard and you don't have to add the content now so you can use this one but we have to create it now only and we have to add the contents now only so i'm just skipping this add content now only and i just clicked on the ok button once i click on ok button it will open the dashboard in the edit format for us so where we have our reports we have in the share folder then there is an custom then there is an some folder like as an a test so here we have all the reports so just let me just go down so what i will just do i will just take this payables invoice report so if i have to put it on the dashboard i just have to drag and drop this one so this is came now second report i have to take this one as an a order detail report okay so I'm just dragging and dropping the second report as well. Okay, so now what I will do, I will just save this one. And then I will just try to run this one. So see, I had added on the same page both the reports. So see how I'm just getting the output. So here, whatever the reports I'm having, I'm just getting that as it is. But the second report, where is the second report? So if I just minimize this one, we have the second report over here okay but it is somewhat disturbed output okay so what we can do so here in this case we just have to go to the edit so we have one more concept over here that is nothing but the page concept in the dashboard so if i'm just removing this second report from this respective view so here you can see this symbol it is to add the page add dashboard page so i'm just adding the second page add dashboard page so i'm just writing here order detail report same i'm just copying into the description section and clicking on just okay you are unsaved the changes would you like to save yes so the changes also saved so you can see this is my second page so how i can identify so here we can see that order detail report and this is my page one okay so here we already have the payable invoice report now i will just go back to page two order detail report and here i will just drag and drop my order detail report from my custom folder so it's done now so i'm just saving this one and I'm just trying to run it. So once I run this report, both the pages will run simultaneously. So this is my output, which is loaded. Okay, so this is my second report that is an uh, order detail report. So if we scroll this side, so we can see the details as well. And here we have the second template as well, but it's not showing due to this size thing. So we can just reformat that one. Okay, so this is my second report, and this is my first report that is in a otbi report okay so this is showing here perfectly okay but here there is some disturbance of the output so if we can't give such type of a report to the user that he is not able to view it properly so for that what we can just do we can just edit this one so click on edit dashboard we have to edit the page two so what we have to do we have to increase the width so here see here here we are having few options so this is my first section so here is a column properties here you can select where we need that particular column so it is in a best fit so you can just give some specific width here suppose i'm just giving as an uh, 1500 and uh, this is suppose 700 and uh, left right padding also you can just give so you can just format this in different type of fashion and you can give the different types of sizes so i just given one and i'm just trying to run it so now you can see that it's a 1500 i had just given so it's coming properly or into the fitting into the one page only and here the height is only i had given 700 that's why it's coming like that only okay so you can see now we have the below records as well okay all the records are there okay now if i just go up 
So here we have the second template. So second template output also we can just see. If we disable the one template, then we can just able to see the only one output. The second thing here, I just taken this width as an a maximum. So that's why it's coming like this one. So if you have to export this one, so you can just click on setting. You can just click on export to Excel. So you can export into the Excel as well. Suppose if we have to download this report, so here we will get that option. So here our view is very extended. So we are just getting this option as this corner. So it's setting, you can just download this particular into the PDF format, into the HTML format, RTF format, Excel format, PowerPoint. You can schedule this report from here as well. You can see the job history, you can send this output. Also, if you click on send, so it will ask you for some more details. So let me just scroll this side. So you can just run this report from here as well. So there are all that particular feature which you can get at the report level that all the features you can get here as well. Okay, so this is the benefit of this while using on the dashboard. Okay, so this is somewhat difficult to scroll every time. So what you can just do, you can just go again, setting, edit dashboard. And this one setting column properties and here make it as in thousand suppose click on OK save and then the run so you can see it's minimized so you can see this every option is here only and here you can just see the template thing as well okay so you can see the second template and you can scroll it down by this particular Air only if I just have to export I can export in PDF I can just download this PDF also if I just want to download it on my local and then second I, uh, I already shown you this the send then schedule also here job also here and job history is that all these types of an options we have here suppose I clicked on the job so you can see it's going here to submit submit the job if you clicked on the return button it will just return on the screen where we are there so this is my bip reports and all this its functionality and this is my otba report so i had explained you whatever the important features are over there so you can just try to elevate all this functionality in detail okay so this is all about the BIP and OTBI reports on a single dashboard. If you have any doubts, you can just write into the comment section of any of the video or you can send me the email as well. Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.